Hi everybody, David from Pinecker01 here. Today I'm going to clean the dust off my sensor on my Nikon D7200. Filming today with the D7000, my older model. And uh, I've been noticing on the pictures lately these little spots, and they're always in the same position on every frame. Video, photo, doesn't matter. So that means it's on the sensor, not just. Uh, on the you know the front of the camera, it's on the actual sensor itself, which is of course on the other side of of the lens here, inside. And there's a way to clean that. There's actually a couple ways, and uh, we're going to cover that right now. What I bought was the dust wand kit, in addition to uh, a little blower that I have. So let's see how that works. Now I should note uh, there is a setting here. In turn on the D7200. If you go to menu, there is a setting under the setup menu called Clean Image Sensor. And if you click on that, you get option Clean Now or Clean at Startup Shut Down. And I'm going to hit Clean Now. Cleaning Image Sensor. Done. Now, if I take pictures, what I'll see is most of this dust will probably stay there. Oil, I think I have some oil on there this particular time. Uh, but, you know, this is what they, they recommended on the Nikon site as well, that this is one way, but they even say it's probably not going to remove everything. And then they get into the, some of the more advanced uh, methods. Okay, you want to really make sure that your That your camera is, is dust free. I'm just going to get the lens here because I'm going to be getting that out of the way in a moment. But before you get opening it up, make sure everything is really dust free. I already did that, so I'm not going to get too much extra. But basically, you want no dust, clean environment. The cleaner, the better. Okay, so now we go back, turn on, and we go back into the, uh, the menu. And right below clean image sensor is lock mirror for cleaning. Now when you click there, say start, yes. When shutter release button is pressed, the mirror lifts and shutter opens. To lower mirror, turn camera off. And that's all you need to do to start cleaning. So what we're going to do is first open the shutter by holding down the uh, uh, shutter release button which is right up here you know right, you know where you take a picture and press there now it's open now we're going to carefully remove our lens you know the normal way and I'm going to try to hold the camera so that the body is the the opening is facing down so nothing else will fall in otherwise it defeats the purpose of cleaning. Remember this one. Clean. And now it's open and I'm going to tilt it forward so you can see it here. And now it's open. That's a sensor. Be very careful. This is of course the key part of the camera. Now the idea is to hold it like this or better yet, you can even have it on a tripod and to take your, your blower and hold it you know, a good distance away and start blowing. So first what I'm going to do, I'm first going to clean around here just to make sure I get everything out of there. A little bit. I went through a dust storm the other day and boy Okay, now we're going to start blowing from all different angles on the sensor. And that should do it. Now we're going to put the lens back on. We're going to turn the camera off. And now it should be back in normal operational mode. Which if I take off my... Which it is. 
So now what we're going to do is go test, preferably against a blue sky or something blue with a lot of light, and you can see the, the, the marks that were there before, which I, I should show you here, and see how it works. Let's see if we still see those spots. And I think we do. So you see, because it doesn't matter, it stays right in that this area right here. No matter what we do, it just stays there. So we're going to have to try to liquid clean now. Then you go to the next method, which is using the uh, the wand with the dust cloth, you know, 99.99% .99 clean, lab clean, with the particular sensor cleaning liquid, which you can buy at your, you know, camera shop. Okay, so let's try it out here. Okay, so to do this, first you want to take your 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 wand, the 1.6 sensor size, and the D7200 case that'll fit within. You'll have to do it twice, bottom and top. But you want to first do a new piece here. I have 50 of them in this package, so, you know. <laughs> and we're going to uh, put that there. But now we're going to do this the right way. We're going to do it here. Here. And then what you want to do is grab this and pull it at an angle away from the top. So like that, away from the tip, which would be the cleaning area up top there. And then we want to fold this at an angle also away. And then we just continue wrapping it around. We don't touch up top, and we take this little thing here, and then we fasten it down. It comes with the kit. So now the top is ready. The next step we have to do pretty quickly because that this alcohol liquid will dry pretty quick. 1.6, three drops per side we're going to do. And we're going to get into that sensor that we just saw and we're going to clean it. And we're going to clean, we'll start on the top. We'll go across and clean. We'll stop. We'll make a new cloth, drops, and then we'll clean the bottom. We're going to clean cloth every time for every swipe. Or every, uh, yeah? So let's get, in this, let's get into it open up the mirror again menu lock mirror for setting uh, for cleaning start push to shutter open up the uh, shutter release button now we're going to go in take the lens off Oops, first hit the lens release okay now we're ready for cleaning I'm going to leave that here for a moment get a good look in, inside the sensor there Very tiny piece of dust can make a big thing on your on your photos. Okay, now we have the liquid open. I'm gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna grab the sensor and we're gonna start cleaning the top. You just go right in there. You just want to clean across, 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 only the top, across, across, something like that, three times. Top is done. Now we're going to keep this here for a moment. We're going to remove this one. We're going to get another clean piece. Three drops, three drops on about. Maybe it was four, I don't know. And now we're going to go into the bottom section of the sensor. Make sure we can get right in there. And now we're at the bottom. Now the bottom is clean. It looks real clean from here. Well, now the big test will be, let's try it out. So now we're done with this. We're going to put the lens back on again. Put the lens back on there. OK. 
Okay, we're gonna turn on the camera. Sorry, we're gonna turn off the camera. Turn it back on. It's ready to shoot, and let's see how it looks. Okay, well now you see the spots are gone. There was one up here and one here. It's gone. It looks fantastic. So. Okay, everybody, well that's how you do it, and you see the, uh, the great result. The, the oil, the, the dust is gone. It really works fantastic. Um, be very careful. You know, the best bet is to get it done by a professional, but in any event, I huh, don't have the budget for that. So just did it myself, and it looks like it worked. It worked fine. First try to, to blow it free. If that doesn't work, go to the, uh, to the liquid option. You can buy a kit if you, you don't you know, know what you're doing. The dust wand has a nice kit. Explains a lot of this in the instructions. And of course, YouTube is your friend. Search around, find how-tos, and hopefully this how-to has helped you to remove dust from your sensor on your Nikon D7200 in this case. All right, thanks for watching. David, Pinecker01, wishing you a great day. Okay.